Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to fix Windows 10 mouse lag. This also means stuttering in games and also we're going to be taking a look at how to fix uh, stutter in RDP sessions as well. All of this covered in this video. So first off, what we're going to do here is going to be testing the rate test here, mouse rate test. So click on the website here. I'll leave a link in the video description. You can move your mouse around and it will tell you your highest and your average score for your polling rate test. Now, this is important because if you have this set too high, this can cause a lot of mouse uh, stuttering and a lot of mouse lag. And you really don't want to do that. So always test this and always look on the manufacturer's website for your mouse and see what the system specs are. So let's go into our mouse here. Now, your software might look different to mine if you've got a different mouse. And if you're using one of those cheaper branded mouses and it doesn't have any software, then obviously this is not going to uh, really affect you. But really, you should be uh, checking uh, inside here. Now, inside the Logitech mouse software, you're going to see a bunch of information here. One of them is called um, report rate or uh, poll rate. And you can see here we need to adjust this uh, depending on what game we're playing and what we're doing. Now, I've seen a lot of people say just put this on the maximum setting. In my case, it's 1000, which is one uh, millisecond. You really don't want to do that for older type games. You want to reduce it down, sometimes reduce it down to 250, but you can also reduce it down until that stuttering goes away. It's sometimes like a little lag, a bit of freezing, and that's because the game that you're playing is uh, not accustomed to those high settings there for that particular mouse. Again, another one is DPI speeds. If you have these set too high, that can cause a problem, especially if you're using uh, older type software or maybe you've got an older system, uh, an older PC, or maybe you're using an older type game which uh, wasn't designed for the super fast speeds. You can see how fast that mouse is moving. And if your PC can't handle that sort of speed or the game you're using, you're gonna end up with a lot of problems. So always keep that at a nice, reasonable rate. I keep it around about 800 and I adjust it in game or inside of the PC as well. Next up, we're going to take a look at your mouse settings inside mouse settings, type mouse in search and open up this uh, window here. Inside here, you'll see a little slider for speed, but you're better off going into the advanced or additional settings here. And this will open up the mouse properties inside here. Now in here, um, you can see there's a bunch of areas here. You've got your click speed and you've got your pointer speed. The pointer speed is important. What you want to make sure of under pointers is make sure any sort of scheme here is not set to any sort of weird and wacky scheme setting here. You can put it to none and see if that takes it, takes the problem away. Or maybe you've got some sort of theme where you've got one of those animated uh, pointers or something like that. That can cause a lot of problems. So always put it on default. Uh, inside the pointer options here, you'll see enhanced pointer precision. Always remove this. I don't know why this is still on. It can cause a lot of problems with especially first person shooters. You want to adjust that and turn that off. And then also you don't want the speed up at full blast here. Uh, this can cause a lot of problems. So you want to keep this around about the middle, uh, around about the middle there. And that should be good there. And uh, once you got that now, also another thing I've seen with older style games is display pointer trails. Uh, turning this on and then turning it off can sometimes resolve a lot of problems. Uh, but I leave this off. It's never been on and I've never had that sort of problem. But maybe some old retro type games, you might have issues and having it on can sometimes rectify those. I don't know why it just does. So let's move on uh, to the next section here. Now, if you're using a mouse, uh, with batteries in it, then sometimes uh, changing those batteries can resolve the problem. Having older batteries in there can cause major problems with uh, stuttering and things like that. So undo the mouse and change those batteries. If it's a chargeable mouse, like it uses its own chargeable battery, check that to make sure it's running okay. If you're using one of these types of mouses with a receiver, then make sure your mouse and receiver are in clear path. Uh, to the receiver is nothing blocking it like speakers or any sort of um, interference that can cause stuttering and problems. Make sure it's got a nice clear path there. Moving on into device manager here. If you've got any sort of yellow triangles around your mice, uh, pointers and stuff like that, device settings here 
in here, then you'll need to check for updates for those drivers. There's a problem with that driver and you want to uh, right click and update these. These also can be done with uh, your chipset drivers or you need to go to the manufacturer's website of that mouse and install the driver for that particular type of mouse. Now, next up, we're going to go to view and show hidden devices. Now, these are all the hidden devices here and these are not in use here. So we can clean these out. Sometimes they could, these can cause like a, a conflict with what you've got going on on your system. So removing these are pretty essential to getting it working correctly. Now, what you can see here is loads and loads of these are listed here. And the easiest way to remove these is right click on them and delete one at a time. But that can take a long time. So that way we can use a free piece of software that, which will remove all of these in one fell swoop. Now this tool is called Device Cleanup Tool and you can download it for free. It's freeware and uh, you can test it as well. It's, it's completely clean. There's no viruses or anything like that. So basically what you can do here is download the tool and then decide on what you want to uh, remove from your system. I'm going to remove all of it from my computer just to show you so you can get a good idea of how this works. Let's just go ahead and get this downloaded and run this on the system. Now I just need to extract this and drag it into a folder on my desktop. And once that's done, I can run it. So here it is right here. Now, if you double click on this and run it, what's going to happen is you'll probably see restricted here. And that means that you've got a restricted program, but might not be able to remove some of these. So you're best off closing this and running this as administrator here. So right click and run as administrator here. And this will open up the program and you can see with the restricted part is now gone. And uh, these are the actual uh, devices here. You can see them all listed here. And uh, what you can do is go into uh, the section up here. And you can create a system restore point before you run this, which is always advisable. And then you can go to devices and select all. Once you've done this, you can then remove all of the selected and it will remove all of that old junk off the system and remove it just like so. Now it hasn't deleted all of the ones that are in use, it's just deleted all the hidden ones that aren't being used and it can clean up the system nicely there. So you can see they've all gone. So let me quickly close these off here and uh, we'll reopen it and you can see basically what's happened. So let me just quickly close this off here. So I'll quickly close these off and then I'll reopen up the device manager and you'll see that when I show hidden devices, there'll be none there. They'd be all gone. So you can see here under the uh, mouse section here, let me just go to view, show hidden. There's none there. It's all gone. So it's all been cleaned out. So that's good. So as long as your mouse is functioning properly, uh, you should be getting towards the point where everything is working correctly. Now, it's always advisable to go over to the manufacturer's website and go to the support page here and download all of the chipset drivers and all of the drivers that you need here because Windows has a tendency of installing old drivers. So getting them from the motherboard manufacturer, you're going to get all the latest drivers here for your system. You can see here it's got all your SATA drivers, all of the chipset drivers, and all the other stuff for that particular motherboard. So just go ahead and download all of those and get them installed. And hopefully uh, you can always come and uninstall these drivers as well, device drivers, if you're still having issues. Now, you'll probably find the mouse has stopped working once you've uninstalled it. Now, what you need to do here is uninstall all of the stuff you want, then unplug the mouse and then plug it back in, and then it will repopulate. Now, if you're having trouble trying to get rid of that triangle and you've done all the drivers and stuff, then maybe there's a problem with the mouse and it might need to be replaced. Now, if it's a cheap mouse that you're using, maybe something like a £10 mouse from China, then maybe just replace it or something like that. Sometimes those mice don't come with... Uh, you know their own software and things like that and it can be problematic so just bear that in mind next up we're going to go into the group policy editor Try, type in there gp edit and open up the group policy editor this is for stuttering mouses uh, or laggy mouses inside uh, your remote connection so if you're doing a remote connection then this can help you out so in your RDP sessions, if your mouse is stuttering, then go into Group Policy Editor, go Local Group Policy, Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, then Windows Components. Open this up, and then basically inside here, what we want to do is come all the way down, and what we're looking for here is, let's see here, Remote Desktop Services. That's what we want to go here. So let me just quickly uh, click on this. I seem to have lost my way here. 
it's somewhere around here remote desktop so there it is okay so click on this one and what we want to do is we want to open this up and what we want to do here is we want to go remote desktop session host you can either click on the right one here or you can click on the one on the left either way doesn't really matter and then once you've opened this up uh, we're going to go down here and look for remote session environment click on the, the remote session environment and once we're inside here we're going to go on the right hand pane here and you should see use uh, wddm graphics now what this can cause is problems it can cause stuttering or issues with your uh, mouse when you're doing rdp sessions uh, on windows 10 and it's something to do with windows 10 i'm not sure what's going on there but you want to disable this and then apply an okay and hopefully that should resolve your problem it's a temporary workaround until microsoft resolve that issue so that is the remote support session also installing updates for all of your uh, mouse software is super essential you really want to do that because otherwise you're going to end up with problems and you can see here we are running the latest version so make sure you check with the manufacturer's website for drivers for that mouse also head over to the manufacturer's website for your particular mouse and this will give you a full blow for blow what that actual mouse can do if you're trying to push that mouse too hard that's going to cause a lot of problems like stuttering and other things like that so just be mindful of what game you're playing what era it come from and what mouse you're using and try to use the right configuration and right settings for that particular game especially if it's an older type game you may run into issues another problem i see quite a lot of is people tweaking uh, settings in a registry and messing with settings they go on the internet or on youtube and they go along and they find a registry tweak at, that says this will really improve your mouse something like this and you can see this was posted in 2011 and i've seen them go right back and this is because back in the day mice weren't the same as they are today and people still think that these will optimize their mouse and give you some sort of edge over other people when playing games and things like that and really what you can do is end up making it worse and messing up your system i see so many people asking for help that have been in the registry and also been into group policy and messed around disabled loads of settings or deleted loads of stuff and now their pc doesn't function properly now if you've got a modern day computer a modern day hardware you don't need to do any of that stuff uh, it's just old hat and it's been around a very long time. Some of these old tweaks have been around uh, since the early days when ball mice and other mice like that were in fashion. Now, another common problem that's overlooked is high temperatures on the CPU and GPU. This is caused by a uh, dried up thermal compound or dust buildup inside the case. You can use a blower just like this one to blow out all of the dust inside the case. Now, if you've got a PC that's living on the floor, it's going to suck up all of the fluff and dirt inside of that uh, case. And it's going to look something like this, which is going to stop any sort of airflow getting into the case and cooling down your CPU and GPU. It's the same thing with thermal compound. If it gets dry, you need to re reapply a new fresh thermal compound on the GPU and the CPU. Take the PC outside and give it a good blowout with one of these blowers. They're pretty cheap and this should bring the temperatures down on your computer and stop any sort of problems like stuttering and the occasional freezing on your PC. Anyway, I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who will join my YouTube members group. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.